To most people, chocolate is just a snack. But what if I told you that they are much more than that? Chocolate's 4,000 year history began in ancient Mesoamerica, a present day Mexico. For thousands of years, chocolate has been treasured and enjoyed, but only recently did we start to realize the real benefits of it. And it all has to do with one special compound called flavonoids. This compound is the reason why chocolate is believed to have performance enhancing effects on our brain. Flavonoids boost working memory, improve focus and attention, and even enhance problem solving skills. It is also known to relieve stress. So, if you often find yourself in high stress situations, a chocolate bar or two can be of help. But hey, before you rush to get some chocolate bars, there is something you need to know. Not all chocolate can boost your productivity. Most chocolate bars sold in shops are sweetened and contain a generous amount of milk. But while this may taste a lot better, it is the raw or unroasted chocolate that is more effective. Processed chocolates have a lower quantity of flavonoids and they also appear light brown in color. Raw chocolate has more flavonoids and is much darker in color. In fact, these varieties of chocolate are referred to as dark chocolate. The darker the chocolate, the better the quality and the more effective it is as a productivity enhancer. Apart from their bad taste, dark chocolates also contain caffeine. Caffeine is not only a great stimulant, it also has the added benefit of increasing energy levels, enhancing memory and mood as a whole. In a research simply tagged caffeinated meetings and involving two groups, researchers gave the first group of people a cup of coffee 30 minutes before the meeting and the second group had nothing. After the meeting, the group that was given coffee performed better than those that didn't take coffee. The researchers repeated the experiment, but this time the second group were given decaffeinated coffee. At the end of the meeting, the first group still performed much better. The experiment proved that coffee enhances productivity and the reason for this is the caffeine in the beverage. However, if you're not a coffee person and chocolates aren't within your reach at that moment, you could try listening to music to boost your productivity. This may sound like common knowledge, but most people are doing it wrong. Science reveals that listening to music can improve productivity, but the report doesn't end there. It goes further to say that not all music has these effects. In the heat of World War II, the BBC was asked to play music to factory workers with the aim of boosting performance. The program was called Music While You Work. According to the factory managers, there was an increase in output by about 15%. Several decades later, listening to music while working is the norm. It is now common to see people hunched over their laptops with headphones, and music apps like Spotify and YouTube are full of playlists that aim to increase productivity. Unlike coffee and chocolates, which have a direct effect on our brains, music works by altering our moods. The Mozart effect is a popular theory that listening to Mozart could increase brain power. The theory became very popular in the 1990s and sparked a lot of interest. You only had to listen to Mozart for a duration of 10 minutes and for a brief period. You'd think like a genius. Unfortunately, it turned out the theory was a placebo. Scientists later proved that listening to Mozart doesn't make you smart if you didn't like the music. So it wasn't the genius composition that made a difference in productivity, but rather how the music made us feel. So, why did the Mozart theory have such a huge following and many positive reviews? It was the placebo effect, the belief that the theory works made it seem to work. But once it was disproved, the effect evaporated. Many people have continued the tradition in the form of a productivity playlist. Sure, this may work for some people who like the music on the playlist. But for those who don't like the music, the effect will be the opposite. So, 
When curating your next productivity playlist, focus on songs that make you feel good and not just songs that claim to boost productivity. As you can see, chocolates are super productivity foods. But if that doesn't work for you, no worries. You can try coffee and music. And as an added advantage, you might want to consider having a productivity framework along with it. After all, a good tool is most effective when applied under the right conditions. It's a complete system that can help you manage all aspects of your life, starting from establishing a clear vision, setting goals, developing weekly structure, planning your activities, and eventually managing your tasks. Once you start using the system, you will be able to see how you invest your time and how fast you are moving towards your goals. First, you will be completing your tasks, then reaching milestones and eventually achieving the goals that you desire. Before you know it, you will feel in control of your life. To make the system easy to use and implement, I have created a free template that you can fill in and update along the way. There is also a training video that will show you how to use it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.